Buying a website isn't as simple as just handing over your cash for a website business that you find on an online broker or a website broker. What if it's a lemon, right? You could have just wasted a lot of money. Hi, I'm Jared Krause from buyingonlinebusinesses.com. You see, so much time should really be invested going into due diligence. And there are a few tools that make website due diligence absolutely easy. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my five favorites, five favorite due diligence tools and how they actually work and why you should be using them if you don't wanna go away and buy a dud website business. For the best advice on how to buy an online business that's past that 90% failure rate that all startups face and has a proven track record of making money month over month, hit the subscribe button, also hit the bell notification so you can get updated when I upload new videos about this every single week. So I've done due diligence on hundreds, maybe even thousands of websites and all the tools out there I've condensed down into these five tools that I feel are the absolute best. Now there's so many tools you can use and there's so much money you could spend just on due diligence tools, but there are some that are absolutely essential and absolutely critical that you should know. The first one is Ahrefs. Now Ahrefs is the tool that I use and my team uses and most of the people in my Bob community actually use this tool because it's a really good research tool for SEO. It helps you look at the backlinks of a site, helps you look at the SEO profile of a site, helps you look at the keywords, helps you look at competing domains and com competitors out there. It helps you look at so many things that you need to know about the SEO of a website. And if you're purchasing a content website, this is particularly a very, very important tool. Now, a lot of people in our space, they first start out buying content websites and the reason being is because it's an easier barrier to entry for knowledge or limited knowledge when you have when you first come to the space but using a tool like ahrefs takes a lot of the umming and the ring and the i don't know if this is a good website business out of this because it's a tool that you can use that allows you to really see the value of a content website right and the value of the traffic the value of the links the value of the seo profile and it can really help you value the website business and put a price on that website business so sometimes brokers may jack the price up right and maybe the business isn't actually worth that amount according to Ahrefs. So this is a tool that you will need to pay money for. You will need to invest into it, but it's an investment and it can not only save you time, but it can save you money, right? Now, I like to say time is more important than money because you can always earn more money, but you can't earn more time. So I think this tool is very, very valuable and almost all the people in my community are using this tool. So if you don't have that already, go away and check that out. I'll put a link in the description. To be honest, they don't even have an affiliate program, so I don't make money through sending you guys to Ahrefs, but they are good. And I did record a really good podcast with the CMO who is Tim Solo on my podcast as well. So Ahrefs is very, very valuable. The second tool that I like to use, it's probably one of the most important, is Google Analytics. Now, Google Analytics also helps you look at the traffic of a site, you know, the rankings of a traffic, the percentage of traffic that's coming to certain pages. Sometimes if a website has most of its traffic going to one or two or even three pages, that is a risk because what happens if you lose those rankings? So it's good to understand what's happening with the traffic. You can see the trend of the traffic, you know, the spikes and the dips, and ask questions around what happened here and connect the dots of why the traffic spiked and why the traffic dipped. Was there a Google algorithm update in this particular portion of the graph? And understanding that helps you be conscious of what the business is really worth, how valuable it actually is. So Google Analytics is the number tool too that I like to use that I think everybody should be using. And getting Google Analytics access to a website business when you're doing due diligence is absolutely fundamental and it should be the first thing that you do. The third one is Uber Suggest. Now this is a tool that Neil Patel created. Neil Patel is a gun SEO in our space. He's very, very well known. And he created this tool, which is basically a keyword research tool and it also helps you look at backlinks. It's a poor man's way, and that's a, that's a really rough explanation or word to use, but it is a poor man's way to be able to 
look at keywords, look at backlinks, and look at the profile of a uh, site, the SEO profile of a site. Now, they do have a paid version, and you can use the free version. Some people in my community like to use the free version, and you can go away and do that, and you can still get a good idea of the business. Now, there are a lot of free tools out there, like keyword research tools and all that sort of stuff, but we like to use Ubersuggest because it is an easy one to navigate. They have good UI on there, right? So user interface. So Ubersuggest is the third tool that I suggest you guys use if you aren't able to invest into Ahrefs or look at some of the other tools that you know can be harder to use. So use Ubersuggest. There'll be a link to that in the description as well. Sightliner. Why do I like Sightliner and why is this on my radar? I like Sightliner because it really helps with understanding how much duplicate content a site actually has. So if your site has a lot of duplicate content, you can have cannibalization within your site, or if you've got duplicate content to other websites out there that you're competing with, then Google can shut both of your websites down and see that content as non-relevant because you've just duplicated that content. So it's a really, really valuable tool to see if you're, that site you're looking at purchasing has a risk because it's high in duplicate content. So use SiteLiner for duplicate content. There'll be a link in the descriptions for that as well. Last but not least, this is the most valuable tool that you can use. Now, this is a biased opinion because I created this tool. Now, this tool is my due diligence framework. Now, my due diligence framework has been used by hundreds of people, maybe even thousands now. And it's a free tool that you can use to take all the guesswork out of doing due diligence. It helps you understand all the questions you need to be asking about different phases of the due diligence for that particular website and ask very, very specific questions. It also has links that you can use to go away and check the answers to those questions. For example, if we're looking at how much duplicate content a site has, there'll be a link to SiteLiner. If we're looking at some things that we need to look at keywords and you don't have Ahrefs, there'll be a link to Ubersuggest. And there's links to all these other things like Liquidator and checking the toxic links and checking all these different things like domain rankings and authorities and all these different types of things. It's a very comprehensive and very valuable tool that a lot of people in the space are like, dude, why are you actually giving this away for free? I wanna give you guys a massive gift. Go away and download this. The link is in the description description and I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are watching this that already do due diligence or you've learned about due diligence and you either know tools to use or you're even using some tools that you use specifically for due diligence for your website. Now, what are those tools? Please comment all of those tools in the comments below and expect a reply from me because I reply to every single comment that you guys make. So. If you have a tool, please share it. Let's make this a great hub and a great forum for everybody that is wanting to do due diligence on websites so we can see all the tools that we should be using to ensure we're buying great website businesses and not getting taken advantage of. If you guys do have questions, then please ask any questions you do have in the comments box below. Like I said, I reply to each and every single comment. Now. Before you go, I want you to understand that when you're buying a website business, like I said, most time, most of the time people are buying a content website if they're a beginner, what are you actually gonna do when it comes time to creating content if you don't know how to create content? Sure, you can go away and build your own team. It takes a lot of time and it can also take a lot of money in failures and you know muck ups and stuff up, stuff like that. So I know how hard it is to build a team and I only build teams with my clients that I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with. Those that don't have the ability to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, what I suggest they do is they hire a team that can create the content for your particular website for you. So we have people in the Bob community that are using a company called nichewebsite.builders. That's nichewebsite.builders who do the keyword research, create all the content, they upload your article complete on your website for you. They also do backlink building, so they're great at ranking for particular keywords and creating articles for that. So they're great at bringing traffic in that way and they're great at bringing in traffic through link building service as well. So if you're interested in niche website builders, check out nichewebsite.builders and there'll be a link in the description as well. Guys, that's it from me for this video. I hope you got a bunch of value from learning out about what sort of tools you should be using and I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.